Alright, I'm in the settings tab in my Google Voice account and just wanted to show you some of the features and options. So, um, English is the only language for now because it's only available in the US. Um, time zone, you can select that. The voicemail greeting. When the default one, the system standard, is a woman is a computer type voice saying, the Google Voice customer you've dialed is not available. Please leave a message or whatever. It's pretty lame, but uh, this is the cool thing: is you can you can add new messages. You enter a greeting name, so I could do one for friends, and click OK. And then now, what this does is you can have it call one of your phones. You connect it; it will call your phone, ask you to record your greeting, and then you can use that and in this drop down box um, so you can also have it you know record your name so it would just say it would use the computerized voice but use your name in there uh, like a lot of a lot of uh, voicemail messages do now uh, here's the alert so you can be emailed when you're when you get a new voicemail and you can also do it by text message too and choose which phone um, the call screening option some people like that it's irritating to others uh, so you can take that off and you can screen block callers too. Um, presentation, you can turn that on or off and see provides option to listen in on voicemail um, or directly connects the call. This could be irritating for people and for you if you keep having to select the option to record or not record the the call and all that stuff. I think it's cool, so I just keep it on for now. I might get sick of it. Who knows? I can't scroll down right now, but other uh, options on here: caller ID. Uh, you can change your voicemail pin. You can enable a do not disturb. And let's see if we can pop up what that is. Um, enables you to send calls directly to voicemail. So that's pretty neat. Um, and then you can enable or disable voicemail transcripts. The phones tab up here, it just lists the phones that you have and can forward calls to. And you can add, delete, edit phones. And it also shows your Google Voice phone number. The groups tab uh, allows you to manage your groups. And you can change these settings for which phone it forwards to, what the greeting is, and your call presentation on a uh, group by group basis. So I could make a group called mom, put only my mom in it, and record a greeting that says, hey mom, I'm screening my calls, so I didn't answer it. I'm up to no good, and I'm causing mischief, but don't worry about me. I love you, I'll be fine, blah, blah, blah. So it's kind of cool you can you can customize that, especially if your friends you know you want to leave a more relaxed message and say hey what's up guys I'm not here uh, leave me a message and I'll hit you up later and then you know for your clients you might have a clients group and you would say hello this is Rob Jackson from fandroid.com um, can't answer your phone right now whatever and, and be more professional about it so that's a really cool feature there there's call widgets and basically in a call widget you can put a widget on your site and just enter some embed code and they can call you directly from uh, directly from the, your website and then there's billing which I haven't really got into yet and this is um, supposing if you're calling overseas and stuff like that let's press this click add credit if you're running low on your credit for international calls exactly you'll be able to increase your amount using Google checkout you can't have more than thirty dollars credit at one time why that is I'm not sure but alrighty so that's the basic options and settings and I'm sure there's a lot more stuff to dive into but that gives you a good idea of the types of things you can customize in the back of your account so I'll talk to you soon